Hey there friends, I'm Chris Ewing, educator, fabricator, and dude that's been welding aluminum for 20 years? God, I'm getting old. Any case, beginners, experts alike, they'll tell you that welding aluminum really takes some special techniques, a little bit of extra practice, whether we're talking TIG or MIG or maybe even oxy fuel welding. People just tend to think of that as a more difficult process. Now, even though I've got all that experience, I have never used a handheld laser to weld anything, let alone something that people consider to be more difficult. So I'm here at IPG Photonics, where I thought there'd be sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads, but those don't exist apparently. And I'm gonna talk to their engineering expert, Dan, about using the light weld system to handheld weld some aluminum. Let's go check it out. All right, so I'm here with IPG engineering extraordinaire, Dan the Man. Thanks for having me again, sir. Good to see you. So what can you tell me about laser welding aluminum as opposed to like MIG or TIG welding aluminum? You know, with TIG and MIG, you can't get a lot of penetration because uh, it takes so much heat to penetrate into aluminum just because of how dense it is. So most of all of your welding has to be done on the exterior. That's why you need so much filler material on, on aluminum when you're TIG welding and MIG welding. With the laser, we're able to get so much more penetration than any of the other processes that it takes half the time and you don't need to add it so much material. So our beads look uh, very narrow compared to Megan Tig, but they're actually stronger. So today we're gonna be able to demonstrate that. Cool, uh, what kind of materials are we welding on? So uh, we got some coupons here. Uh, this is 6,000 series aluminum. And then we have some 5,000 series aluminum as well, different thicknesses. We'll do some T joints and some butt joints and uh, We'll do uh, fusion and wires. In the 6000 series, that is newly accommodated uh, with the XR machine, correct? Exactly. So with our other two models, the, the 1500 and the XC, with those, uh, you're only able to do 3000 series aluminum and 5000 series aluminum. Because of 6000 series aluminum, with the XR, we were able to shrink down our spot size uh, on the laser so that we can penetrate the 6000 a lot better now. So we have that extended range of capability on the XR. Cool, well, I mean, I'm excited to give it a shot. So uh, let's get our gear on and try it out. Let's do it. All right, Chris, now we got some uh, two millimeter um, 5000 series aluminum, and uh, we're gonna weld these as uh, on a T-joint. So we're gonna, just uh, fusion well these, okay. and then um, see how this turns out. No filler on these ones then, right? Nope, just right. fusion. Yep. Uh, I'll weld one side, you weld the other. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead and weld the other side of Chris. Oh sure, now I gotta try and make it look that good. <laughs>
there's that uh, two millimeter 5000 series aluminum did that T joint and I don't think that's denying that that got full penetration, <laughs> did it? I may have gone a little slow, <laughs> but I mean, it's still faster than TIG welding it and you can absolutely see that's complete penetration. But yeah, there's no other nine that that's a strong weld. I mean, I weigh about two, 280 pounds. So let's see if uh, I can break that sucker. Ugh. Yeah. Whew, that took some effort. Yeah. The real test is, did the weld break? No, we got some cracking, but that's outside of the weld zone. That's in the base material. And that's what you want to see in a fillet weld break test like that. So it penetrated completely. The weld itself is still there. Any cracking is in the base material. So that's call that a pass. Exactly. Faster, less heat input and strong. That's kind of all you can hope for. All right, so you got some aluminum in hand. What's up next? All right, so right here we have some 6,000 series aluminum. Okay. We have a rectangle frame and we have some diamond plate. So this is uh, kind of simulating a real world scenario where, um, you know, trailers, uh, RVs, uh, um, that sort of thing uses this type of material. So what we're going to do is we're going to weld one side in fusion and we're going to use the other uh, side and weld it with wire so cool. that we can tell the difference between the two. Awesome. Let's check it out. All right, let's do it. I think I've already shown you enough things today and you're pretty good at it. I'm just gonna let you do it. All right. So we're gonna use the same tip. We have our settings already preset on the machine. Uh, we're gonna do fusion weld on one side. Then I want you to flip it over. We're gonna turn the wire feeder on, get that hooked up, and then I'm gonna let you do the other side with the wire. So I'm gonna get started. All right. Excellent. I would say that that's a very good well there. Thank you, Master. Yes. <laughs> I think we have a good root there and very, very well. It's a good well there. Nice. All right, so now we're going to get the machine set up and uh, go over to the uh, wire well on the other side. With the wire feeder, it's going to start to push you along. So all you have to do is make sure that you're, you're lightly holding the gun and hold it steady, and the, the wire feeder is going to do the rest of the work for you. You're going to feel it's almost like it's on uh, uh, autopilot or cruise control. It's just going to push you along. Uh, just hold it steady and right. give it a go. I'll believe it when I see it.
I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. I've never done this before. And this is the result. All right, Chris. So next up, we have uh, some 6,000 series aluminum. We're going to do a bud join here on the narrow end. We're going to be using the XR with the uh, wire assist. We're going to be using 53, 56 wire on that. Now this looks like what eighth inch material. Yes. Now will we be able inch. to expect complete penetration on yes. eighth inch? Yes. Even with the wire assist, you're going to have a bigger crown, but we're still going to be able to achieve that 100% penetration. Cool. Let's check it out. All right. So if I were to TIG weld that, it would have taken three or four times as long easily. Yep. Definitely would have had more heat input into the part. Yeah, I could have gotten complete penetration or whatever. To get that speed though, I would have had to you know switch over to a spool gun or a dedicated MIG machine. Exactly. There would have been more spatter. There would have been uh, more heat input into the part for yep. sure. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's 100% penetration, definitely. So how do we know how strong that actually is? Well, that's a good question. So why don't we just go ahead and take it over to our pool tester and test it out? Sounds good to me. All right. Let's do that. All right, Chris. So we're here in our metallurgy lab and uh, we have the pool tester here so we can get our 6,000 series aluminum that we welded earlier, hook it up and do a pool test on it. So, let's break it. All right, let's do break it. Break it. So we're gonna go ahead and load this guy in here. Clamp this up. Clamp this guy up. All right. And let's uh, take a few steps back. We'll get the machine all set up and break it. Break it. All right, Chris, so what do you think about the aluminum welding process with the light weld? Honestly, I didn't even really know you could weld aluminum with a laser like that. You know, before today, having never been hands-on with that stuff, um, I'm impressed. You know, this is a game changer for certain industries where as long as their mind is open to accepting new process like this, yep. you got less heat input, it's faster, you get this nice skinny little bead that's strong as crap anyway, I, there is really no downside that I see to this one. It really isn't. We're very proud to be able to have a, such a product that our customers really like. And, and we have uh, so many customers that use our products and, and really benefits everyone. So, Well, thanks, Dan, for having me out for another video. Look, if you want to learn more about the light weld system, visit ipgphotonics.com. If you got questions, comments, concerns, you just want to reach out, leave some comments below on this video. If you haven't downloaded that Weld app yet, why not? What are you waiting for? Get to it. Till next time, hope this helps.